What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video. I'm your host, No ID. Here we are looking at another game review. This time it's the playoffs. If y'all remember the last time we played the Titans, uh, we had a big lead, we were up two touchdowns, ended up letting them back in the game. We had a game tying touchdown and then we went for two to win, we lost that game. We meet again in the playoffs, we are on the road. This actually was a good season. We end up going 12 and 5. Uh, I come right out. Do what we do best, baby. Get a ball to behind. Let him do something after the catch. Um, right here, I'm just trying to remind myself to stay balanced. So this is why I audible into this, this run. It looks like Dell's going to be open immediately. He is. Got one man to beat. Beat him. Oh, okay. I guess we got more than one man to beat. <laughs> I don't know where them men came from. But so far, so good. We're moving the ball, positive games, nothing crazy. This safety over here steps down. So I put him on a streak, see if I can steal one right up in here. Because this dude should hold him. The only thing is, is anybody going to hold him out? So he comes in on him. That was a risky throw, but it worked. That was a nice juke. But I think uh, Beheim might have been the. Well, OK, this is here. But honestly, he might have been able to pick this. You know how this game is. If I have enough time, which it doesn't look like because they're already releasing, if I could wait, this would be open up here because he's got to guard him. So. This throw that I make is risky. But I could have made this throw. I could have made this throw. But luckily, this one was good. He had a bad click on. Another bad click on. We get it popping. Audible to another run. Dell is out here by himself again. But this time, I don't do the RPO. It's just a straight up run. Oh, this got to be a... Oh, I didn't juke. That should have been a touchdown. We juke right right there. That's a touchdown. Let's see. Uh, probably pits. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Touchdown. Oh, that was a weird juke. Why did he juke like that? That's a good drive right there. That's a good drive. Hold on. Something. I have a feeling that the music is, the background music is too loud. Y'all let me know if that's better. Or if it wasn't loud in the first. Well, I'll find out if it was loud when I look at the video, but. All right, so we're up 7-0 in the wild card playoffs. Ah, okay, if you see right here, I um engage and I see that it's a fake right here. I am trying to get out. I, I saw him come back. I'm trying to get out over here. Because I know that this guy and then probably this guy, this is who he's looking for. But I'm not fast enough. I bump into my guy right here. He makes the catch. So he got a positive game. Oh, shoot. My bad. I um Like the last video against the Chiefs, when they empty on that side, I pull that corner down. Got the drag. So usually in this formation, I'm always looking for a corner, a corner or a post. That's a good drag. And because of that, that usually is open. Those flats are usually open unless I user it or make an adjustment for it. Like, same thing over here. I want to watch it, but you see I'm over here this time because I'm looking for this. Oh, my gosh. He has a touchdown. He throws a running back. That's a touchdown. That's crazy. When I, when I was playing a game, and that's another thing. When I be playing the game, I don't see this stuff. But, like, since I'm not playing and I'm just observing, it's like I see everything. That man was wide open. Thankfully, he did not see him. 
or throw it to him. Let's see. Ooh. Oh! I thought I was too slow to get that. Hold on, bring it back. Now here's the thing. It's only so many, wait, did he audible into this? Yeah, it's, so, it's only so many plays in these formations. So I know that one of the plays in this formation is one of the people drag. Like there's one play where basically one crosses, one does a wheel, or it's like two wheels or something like that. One drags, one crosses or something. Basically, I know somebody's gonna cross. Um, but just in case, I put a Mabel over here. So if they do like a corner, because uh, uh, this is what I used to do when I used to run empty. I would run like maybe a streak here or a post here, a corner, a flat, and a streak. And usually I'm trying to hit that corner. So I put three zones over here to watch that corner. Um, I'm basically watching anything that comes over here. I'm really not worried about him for real. I really should have put him on the deep. I could have honestly blitzed this dude. That's probably what I should have did. Put him deep, blitz him, and then I'm watching everything over here. So let's see what the play actually is. Okay, that's the wheel that I was talking about. Here's the other wheel that I'm talking about. Here's the crosser, and then here's the drag. So like, once you... Once you play so many games and run into so many people running so many different things, you start to realize like, or even if you just go to the playbook, like I go to like create a playbook and sometimes I just look at formations and look at the plays that's in the formation. Um, now, to be honest with you, I thought I was beat, but he didn't freeform it. And since he didn't freeform it, he threw it right to me. We went to the crib. So 14-0, wild card. Not bad. That's a good look. But last time I played them, I was up 14-0 and uh or I was up 28-14 or something like that. I threw a pick six, got him back in the game, we end up losing. So we gotta um stay to it. Now he's trying to run game, and surprisingly, I am stopping the run out of big nickel. Something I rarely do. I don't know why it's working all of a sudden. But uh, I'll take it. Oh, another stop. No way. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to go back to running Big Nickel, man. I like Big Nickel. It's just... I feel like I can't stop the run out of it. I guess it just depends. This is a good play call. What was he in? Pistol? And then this is a terrible click on. I try to square my square my shoulders and then I just let him run past me basically. It's it's kind of embarrassing, but thankfully Jones gets down there, slows him down, we make a stop. So he didn't score a touchdown. So bad play, but we still in decent shape. But you never like to let stuff like that happen. Good defense. Another run. I wonder if he's nervous after throwing that pick six. It's like he hasn't he hasn't passed since. Just run, run, run. Oh, there's a pass. There's a tackle. And he's short. Good stuff. Do we stop him on fourth and one though? He don't know what to do. What is this? Oh, good stuff. I didn't know what to commit to on that one. Good stuff. Good tackle. Them boys making plays out here, I will say that. Another one, good stuff. These, that's just sheds, like. Sometimes that's all you need. Just give me a shit. Okay. I know what I did wrong right here. Look how long it takes me to react to this run. You see what I'm saying? He's running left. He's running left. I just now started moving. I should have, when, when Josh Allen opened up his hips like this and he started going, I should be going now. At this very moment, I should be running out here. 
because at least if I get out here, either A, I bump into him, which frees him up, or B, I run all the way out here and make him cut back in to these people. I was late, I get picked up, runs into this guy, jukes me because I have bad leverage, scores a touchdown. He's going for two here. I don't know what formation this is. He gets it. And just like that, it's somewhat a game again. Well, we just got to go down here and score. Hopefully don't give him the ball back before half. Or if we do with just enough time that he can make a mistake that we can capitalize on. Like throw a pick and then we can kick a field goal or something like that. Try to run here, no, no dice. I decided to run again because I figure he's probably not expecting me to run again. And I get stopped. If I don't juke right here, I'm probably okay. Like if I just run up into the hole instead of juking, I probably get a first down, but that does not happen. Oh, uh, I was pretty sure I was gonna go to the screen. I guess not. He's in 3-3, looks like he's worried about the run. Honestly, if it wasn't for six yards, I probably would have, oh my gosh, he dropped it. If it wasn't for six yards, I probably would have run it. And I thought I was gonna get the first down, so I didn't run it. But if I would have ran it, it would have made this fourth down easier to, to get. But if I don't get this, oh, that's good. If I didn't get that, we would have been in bad shape. We're gonna run it here. Oh yeah, good block. Oh, that's touchdown. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this vision. Behind, break it down for us. All right, user is about to get picked up by 68. Bam, 79 gets a block, then gets to the next level. He got that block there, sealed that, then got to the next level, made it so Brian Burns could not make a play. He dives, misses. 20, I don't know, I don't know how this, he 20, I don't know what 20's doing. Pitts gets a block, gets a second block, and we're gone. That's beautiful. Um, but he has a minute at 18. That's actually a lot of time, especially considering he has all his timeouts. But it's empty on the right side, so I bring him down again. What the? What kind of glitching? Oh, it's an RPO. Dang, that's crazy. I did what I was supposed to do. I made him throw the ball because I'm out here. I'm, I'm prepared to make this tackle right here. I'm prepared to make this tackle. Will I make it? Who knows? I might miss. I might not. But it was enough to deter him from running this and throwing it over here. The only thing is, since it's an RPO, this man is in cement. And Mike Evans is gone. Oh, good tack. Oh, that was not a tackle. Good try. Dang, single back trips. Again, I'm going to do it again. I'm watching out here. He's running to the left. Dang. So he scores. But I got three timeouts. He's going for two again. 37 seconds. And the second. Oh, how did I not get that? I just cut in. I guess I was looking for the slant. Either I was looking either I was looking at the slant or I'm looking at this tight end over here. One of the two. I can't believe he got that in. 21-16, so now and he gets the ball I have, so. If he scores, it's, um, oh, shoot. Oh, we gone. And I'm pretty sure we talked about this before. I don't like taking out the ball anymore on kick returns because it just seemed like I always fumble. But every now and then you get lucky. We needed that. For sure we needed that. Let's see if he try. Yeah, he like his turn. And that would have been dope if we made him fumble right there. 
All right. Um. Oh shoot! What a sack. He just fought. He just kept fighting. Good stuff. What did he have on the backside? Was this a coverage set? He's covered. He's covered. He's covered. He's covered. He's open though. I don't think he wanted to check down. Good stuff. I don't know how he was able to do that. He took a timeout too. That's that's interesting. Oh, he ran it. He took a timeout and ran it and took another timeout. Hmm. I don't know what to say. That's strange. I guess he thought I was going to be like pass committing. He thought he would get a bigger run. That makes sense. Mm, good breakup. Oh, you got to pick that. You got to pick that. Punt. I wonder. Uh, dang, how long he hold the ball? The time not even clicking. Oh, my gosh. That's a terrible punt. Am I in field goal range? I am. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was a terrible punt. Wow. Yes, sir. See, that's what I'm saying. Get him enough time to mess up. I just got a free three points. Something crazy must gonna happen because he's about to be gone shortly. No way we play two quarters with just six minutes left in the game, like in the in the video. So this video look like it's gonna be revving up shortly. Fake run. It's a pick because he's gonna. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna throw this guy right here. I'm like, that's a pick. If he would have threw this one, that might have got open. But he did the right thing. Take the underneath. Hmm. Good set. That was a good shit. Everything is covered except this flat over here. This guy's open. But he would have had to see that immediately because as soon as he gets out of that play action, as soon as he gets out of the play action animation, he's sacked, basically. But honestly, this dude, if he had time, this is going to come open. What? Did he? I think he hurried up into this by accident. He's going to have to call a timeout. Oh, no, he caught a fake spike. You can't be serious. Fourth and 17. I don't think he meant to do that. The fact that he's still committed to it, though, like, I call a timeout. Okay, hold on. I don't know what this is. What defense is this? Okay, so I'm in dollar. This is the DB fire. This defense looks terrible. <laughs> because if he can snap throw this, snap throw this. He probably can't snap throw this. If it's a streak. If it's a flat, he can snap throw it if he wanted to. So flat, flat, snap throw, streak, streak, snap throw. And then this will have to be like a post or a corner or a post or a slant. Let's see what he does. Ah, oh, that's a bad one. He had a bad choice. I know you not. Most people don't like throwing the ball below the sticks or before the sticks, but if he throws this right here, he only got one person to beat. All right, so we feeling good now, man. We up 15 in the red zone, third quarter. We haven't been stopped yet. Ooh, I miss behind, man. Get, look at this. 
He got that man looking crazy. Uh. I miss my guy, man. I miss my guy, man. Oh, the baby. All right. This is a run. Something gonna happen. He about to throw a pick. No. He clicked on. If he didn't click on, he, his person would have caught that. Look at. Look at my corner not doing anything, bro. That's a pick, man. Pick that off. Attack the ball. Ooh, that corner was open, but we got the set. Yeah, that corner is wide open. I think that corner is actually my responsibility, too. Yeah. I was supposed to pick that up. Then he had to cross it over the middle. Luckily, we got a set. It's interesting that I'm... I feel like I don't get pressure out of this formation. I feel like I don't stop the run out of this formation, but we're doing both. Now, it could just be a result of my opponent, but... Ooh, not doing too bad, honestly. It's empty on this side, so I'm using him. Remember, this is... It's only so many routes that could be out of here. Either the combination I showed y'all about earlier with the corner flat street, or it could be like vertical street, 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 post or something like that. Or the drag, wheel, wheel, crosser. Um, this could be a streak, a crosser, or a corner. So I mean, basically, it's it's like a limited amount of things you could do out of here. Let's see what this is. Okay, so he had the wheel, crosser, crosser, streak. And this dude looks like a crosser, too. Nope, give me that. I tried to score too. So you just if, keep your eyes on the formations. Let's see what the formation was actually called that he came out in. Empty chip squads, yeah. It's only so much they can do out of these. I just want to see it again. And honestly, it looks like uh, this tight end is open. Uh, if he had enough time. He didn't have much. Well, yeah, he didn't have the time to throw anything different. That's a crazy pick, Hall. And that's it, man. That's it. That's how we win the game. So we go to the next round in the playoffs. Appreciate y'all for watching. I hope y'all learned something the way I did. Um, but more importantly, hopefully we can apply it to games in the future. So... Y'all go ahead, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace.